This one, she just accepted she has to take drugs, and the other one, I had to look after also her mental state. So I had just to balance, because if I'm, it could bring some depression in mm -hmm. a way, if you let it, mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah, why I'm that's, telling you the yeah. best thing is just to accept, because yeah. as much as people will talk, like some say at Inikurogo, or your cast, there are people who said that. Yeah, they said that, that this is, even when you go to hospital, there's a time she was on supplements, we used to carry her on a wheelchair. So she had wounds around her legs everywhere. So the doctor was like, how is a 20-year-old having a disease of an 80-year-old? You know, you're like, wow, you know? Yeah. So as much as you, there's so much negativity and stigma, yeah. you're just like, okay, you're just calm, like, you can't change it. Yeah. So you're like, even if people say it's a curse, is she coming back? Hmm. So they might say as much that they want, but God's will is what hmm. was done. He, he did what he, he was supposed to. Hmm. Yeah, because she was also close to him. So hmm. we're just counting on God. Yeah. Because of it, and the, she used to hold fellowships. Really? Yeah, she used to tell us, seven sharp, we're having fellowship, we're having thanksgiving, what you're thankful for, quoting Bible verses. So it's like she even brought us closer to God, like really? togetherness. In your so, family. Exactly. Now when we were staying with my sister mm -hmm. and my other daughter, yeah. she used to bring us together. So I was like, okay, wow. that's the life she could have wanted. Like, yeah. you know, being peaceful, yeah. being together in all this. So you just accept, basically. That's, that's, I think that's powerful. Exactly. Like in that state, she was doing her best to give you guys strength. Yes. Yeah. In a and way. Hope. Yeah. yeah. And then the songs she used to sing. Which ones? Mostly the her favorite was that one, Spirit Lead Me. That one. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one. Yes. It used to be like when you listen to the words, yeah. they're so deep. And then there's a time a pastor visited us. Eh? She was telling us, like, you know, there's a chair she used to lie down on. The pastor was like, you know, she's seeing God there. You, you're not seeing, but her, she's there. Like with God, so it was all like so spiritual yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Yeah. How did it uh, change your spiritual life as her mom? Um, I think basically it's just getting closer and trusting God more, because there's a time I was bitter, but it wasn't doing me any good, you know. And then even when you're bitter, you're still not getting the answers. So in my in my in my lifetime. In that season, I, I went to YouTube channels, mm -hmm. seeing, listening to people's stories. Then, whichever, if it was curses, you just forgive people, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you let God avenge for you. You still don't lose your real focus on God. Yeah. So all those things have been pushing me. And then being there for this other, I mean, she's still there. So Yeah, the, the yeah, baby now. I, yeah, I have to be there for her. Wow. Yes. So much... 2020 last year yes um so the week before she passed on yes did, did anyone have an idea that these are the last days not really but the strange thing that happened uh -huh. you know the the spine when the the it dies down here your nerves die on the legs so there's a time she said it's coming here to the neck meaning maybe her nerves of the hands would have died okay. and maybe she would have been mentally retarded or something so there's somebody who stated maybe I couldn't have coped with the, what was going to happen to her. Because she said now the pain has come here to the neck. Okay. And then there's a time she held my hand. It was so cold. I was like, hey. Uh -huh. And then she kept saying, massage me. And she doesn't know where. Because, you know, she can't feel pain. Her nerves are dead. So uh -huh. she became so restless, moving around, saying I'm sweating. Like, you know, like... I don't know. She wanted people to be closer. Okay. And then there's a time she told her sister, now it's not working. Just let me go. So her sister was trying to pull fun. her. Yeah, to okay. fan her. Uh -huh. So she told her, just leave me alone. Like, it's not working. Uh -huh. <laughs> so basically she passed on in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like at 6 a.m. In the morning? Yes, in the morning. All of it you was on asleep? Wednesday. Yeah, we were awake. Because we were not sleeping during that week. Uh -huh. Yeah, that week she was so... She Restless. needed attention. She was calling out. Okay. But she doesn't know, like, what she's saying. So it's like she's not there already, you know. 
Okay. Yeah, and then there's another sister also who used to come to take communion with us. So it's like, you know, it's like for real, it was the last supper. Because she used to come with bread and juice, she's like, we take all together. Yes. You know? Yeah. So that last week was very hectic. Yeah. So at the end of the time, she just took one last breath and went. So at 6 a.m. on a Wednesday? Yeah, on a Wednesday. Then we had to, like, get a burial permit. You remember it was the COVID time? Yeah. We had to get a burial permit. We had to rush to the police station. They brought, after the permit, now that's when the hearse came for the body. So what was that like that morning? I don't even know. It was so dead, you know? <laughs> like, you feel there's something missing. Yeah. It's so, everybody's quiet. Like, I didn't cry in a way. And nobody was screaming, but we just, like, kept quiet. I think everybody just stared, like, you're like, what's really happening? As in, You were all really, there with her? Yeah, or we were all there with her. My sister, you? me, and the little one, and now my niece, she has a small mm -hmm. daughter. So we were all there. She just took her last breath on that chair. So the, we had a little hope because there was still, she had a small pulse. Mm -hmm. We called for an ambulance mm -hmm. before the hearse came. They came, they tried to resuscitate her, but of course it was in vain. So that's when he gave us the, what do you call it? Like confirming mm -hmm. she's passed on. Mm -hmm. So that's when we had to get the, the burial permit and then the, the hearse came for the body. We took it to the morgue. We buried her on Saturday, the same week. What were her last words? Mm, not basically. She was just quiet. She was also staring in the air. But her, basically every day she just kept saying, God is there. So mm -hmm. you, you, you actually knew that her work was with God because when she was well, she used to go for Christian retreats. Mm. That's where she wanted to be because she was like, she's seeing God's. And she feels his presence mm -hmm. and a lot of peace. Yeah. So every time I had a uh, Uezo, because it's in Nakuru, yeah. I used to give her some transport. Then she goes there. Yeah. She stays there. You don't even, you can't even use your phone. Because now it's seeking Oh, the you. prayer mountain? No, it's a place called Wendo. It's a okay. retreat. Mm -hmm. So you just go, you're quiet. No phones, no anything. Bible study, all those things. That was her work, basically. Wow. Yeah, so I just knew at least she's in a good place. Yeah. And then when we when we went to, like on that Saturday, I think it's on, on a Friday we went to view her body again because we had to buy a white dress. Okay. Yeah, so, so she looked very peaceful.